Oh man, oh man, this is sad. Last 24 hours in my freshman college dorms. It's been, it's been a good year, but it's gone by quick. Hey, okay, we're midway through packing things up. I definitely have way more stuff than when I came because I've bought clothes since I've been here. I've bought things since I've been here. So hopefully we'll be able to fit it all in all the suitcases and bring it back to Arizona. But it's in hard. It's in really hard that I'm not gonna see these amazing friends for over two years. Okay, I'm not one to tear up my camera. <laughs> let's, let's pause that. Okay, all I'll say is if anybody's debating whether or not to go to BYU, it'll change your life. If you're debating to go to, to school, or at least BYU for a semester, for a year before your mission, it'll change your life, okay? For the better. I'm so much more prepared. I've met so many people, because it just, mind boggles me. I was gonna go on a mission right after high school. That was the plan. And then I decided to do a year of school and I would not have met any of these amazing people if I had gone straight out of high school. Like these, I'm sure I had friends in Arizona and in Tucson, but no friend that I had there was even half a percent of the people I've met up here. No offense to you friends back home, but the people I've met up here have changed my life. Seriously. And this is when the my home for the last eight months it's felt so long at the same time but way too short everybody's everybody's leaving can see everything is pretty much all all packed up so we got the last night we'll be staying or I'll be staying in the BYU dorms it's been it's been amazing it's been amazing best year of my life if I haven't said that a thousand times and I'll keep saying it a thousand times yeah made my last stop on campus and we're heading back the dorm's pretty much clean and empty my dad's gonna come pick me up and we'll check out a little bit later tonight so I'll have some time just to do some random stuff I don't know say goodbye to roommates Cal's checking out early at 10 so that's a couple minutes and that's why I'm racing back to the dorm uh, one thing we've got a little bit of a dilemma because my grandparents really want to see me race. My dad came, he wants to see me race. And then um, Buck Gent, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about him, but he's, he's a guy who walked onto the BYU track team a long time ago, he's, he's like 83, um, but he, he's coming to see me race and he's been a big mentor for me, but my Achilles is killing me. And I haven't run all week, it's Friday and I haven't, didn't run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday just because it hurts too much to put pressure on it. 
and I thought I'd just take as much of a break as I could, but I don't know, my body is definitely beat. It's time to time to take a break. Hopefully I can withstand one more race. There were six, and now there's four. We're dwindling. There were six, and now there's three. Jordan just left. Just me, Sam, and Josh. We're not checking out till a little bit later tonight. Wonder how the track meet's going. The Robinson invite is downpouring outside right now. Hopefully it's good. Right now I'm just working on editing a slideshow for my high school track team. It's taken a while, but I think it'll be good. And then there were two. Sam's gone. Man, the heart, the heart of the dorm. Whew. See what's crazy is just like, like I've been to summer camps, I've been to things like that. I went to high school, like saying goodbye to my high school friends was not, was not this hard. <sighs> well, we'll see them, we'll see them in two years and we'll just pick up right where we left off, you know? Time doesn't, time doesn't affect a friendship. No, it doesn't. Here we are, walking out of Heritage Halls for the last time. We are officially checked out. Freshman year of college, completed. Oh man, that went by quick, but it was, it was a blast. Yeah.